update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. Currently, have all U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's down 611, 1 and 8 tenths percent. SP 69, 1 and 6 tenths percent. NASDAQ, 1 and 7 tenths. 245. Brussels off 1 and 7 tenths, 34. Semis down 62 points out there. Let's begin by take a look at the uh, equity future contracts. We didn't do that during the last hour. What's uh, taking place as we speak is the key levels of support are being tested across the board. In the case of the ES Mini, it's the bottom of its daily profile, and that's at 42.58. In the case of the NQ, it's a January 24th low, 13.706. So far, price is trading above that. In the case of the Dow, it's the Dow bottom of its daily profile, 33.366. We're at 33.385. In the case of the Russell 2000, it is the top of its January 26th, 26th, 28th. Let me see here. I'll give you the correct date. That was the 28th. That top of that swing point at 1966.50. Now, I don't know where price closes at the end of the day. As of 201 in the afternoon, we have tests and rejection of key levels of support. Let's not stop there. Let's go take a look at our eight panel indice charts out here. We begin by taking a look at the Dow in the upper left. So what we know is that the Dow is also trading down into its swing point from January 24th. has not made its way all the way back down there. Today is going to become bar number seven. It has a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's been triggered. Those are all things that will help us to identify whether or not there's a bottom that forms out here. If there was a bullish reversal candle, that would confirm a bottom. In the case of the S&P 500, really the same synopsis as we looked at for the Dow. Price is trading in the January 24th swing point. It has triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, bar number seven. Katie barred the doors. It would need a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Same pattern going on inside the NDX 100. Now, in the case of the NDX, we know that it's testing or as close to testing the bottom of that swing point. That swing point low is 13,724. Uh, the high or the low today is 13,754. So no, it still has not tested that uh, swing point low out there for the NDX. In the case of Russell 2000, price is now below its red oscillator and change line. If it closes below that, that is 1997.20. That suggests a run of that January 28th low. The semiconductor index, they are below their red oscillator change line. Trading into, nope, still haven't got back. For the January 24th, uh, 28th low, uh, 28th swing point out there, price should target the uh, 3304 level. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 8 a.m. sharp to host the Traders Ed Show. Hope you can join us then. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky.